All right, y'all. I went back and I got uh, screenshots that were sent to me and plus some that I collected myself. And I'm just going to add them to the beginning of the video that I already recorded. What this is about is Straight Games moderator, Hannah Montana, says, It's so sad. Some of y'all in this group steady going on and on about this photo. So to the ones that keep on talking and making sly comments about the authenticity, authenticity of the post and my comments that keep coming after I told y'all the nature of what was going on, I got my eyes on y'all. Some of y'all act like y'all don't remember what happened to Zach and all the scrutiny in the world is not going to make me post the photo. So until the time comes and God gives me confirmation to release this photo will stay etched in my mind. You're full of crap. Quit using God. She says, every time I greet the group, I let y'all know I love y'all. Right now, I'm not feeling the love back. I keep saying I'm not going to compromise info that is being given to me to help the case. So if something happens to me and my son because I've dropped confidential information, I guess I would not matter because the case would just move on and my son and I would be either hurt, bad, or dead. Please respect my decisions and rules to this. I'm still J for K and I still love you all. Stop playing a victim. You give victims a bad name. I just want to say to all the members, this is just a couple of days later, in the group, thanks for all y'all support and the outpouring of love y'all showing me. I can truly say there is no other group that is getting it cracking like we are, and I wouldn't have it no other way. We the best. We got big ups to take game for working so hard and diligent on the case. You are a five-star general, and we are the soldiers. The battle will be fought and victory will prevail. J for K is on the horizon. Really? Oh, that was this morning, by the way. You say he's going live. Call it in. Goofy, this is for you, especially all by yourself. This morning, you want to post up me again, complaining that I'm talking about you. Because you're posting me. And still want to call me a bitch. Let's see how much Facebook likes that when you're in Facebook jail. So then I got, these are some things that I got sent from Hannah Montana's personal page. I guess it is. She's getting big money. Now didn't I say yesterday something about uh, they're probably splitting the profits. Now imagine that. Listen up, everybody. I've been working hard on my own hair care product growth line for natural hair, and I've completed my samples. I haven't gotten my official label yet, but things are progressively quickly. So stay tuned. A new product with natural ingredients are coming soon to a beauty supply store, a Walmart, a dollar store near you. I will keep prices low and affordable. For all so we could all get these products and still have money in our pockets yes I'm sure you got a lot of money in your pocket now because y'all needed that 10k to get the case reopened goofy this goes back to you you posted me back to back and then gonna cry about me saying something about it Facebook got you don't worry and this one says okay gang to all those that watch the live I hope y'all was paying attention to the notorious photo was in there with Kanika's pants down on her on the bed and Monifa watching. I can't y'all can apologize to me for calling me a liar at any time. I'm waiting. Somebody says right boo and the other one says yeah we wait. At the end of the day, this is all about justice for Kanika. I don't see why folks' feelings are getting hurt. This young lady was murdered at 19. We are still living and breathing. Thanks be to God. We think we need to be focused on the purpose of this. Who would call you a liar? I don't get that vibe from you at all, especially not when it comes to Kanika. I know it is wise to question everything. Sure, that is human nature, but you shouldn't have been called that. 
I'll call her. She's a liar. And I'm going to prove it. Stick in there. I got the proof. Whew. Don't pump fake like that. She always to be straight up. No, she ain't. And then she says, thanks. And then she's not a liar. Little do they know is a real as it gets. No, she's not. She's real about getting that money for Trey and him and her splitting it. She says, much gratitude. You know it. Yeah, she is. LOL. Then she says, somebody's questioning her about this nymphitous po uh, photo. She says, I'm going to go back to watch it. I missed something. So Goofy here says, well, here, let me post it up for you. Then the lady says, my eyes are bad. I cannot see through the edits, edited video. I have to study this. And then somebody says, hi, I have to, I thought you went, he showed that we just need a little patience. And then somebody asked for the link. Well, this link is no longer available, but I got the one that is. Now, here's a little screenshot that she posted up. And I crossed a lot of y'all's names out because, um, I didn't want to embarrass y'all because some of y'all is my subscribers too. But this is supposed to be the picture of Kanika with her ass out. Now, I don't know where her ass is supposed to be. But best believe, y'all going to find out. I know what frame this is. Somebody says, okay. Then one of the moderators says, well, we see you. I know you. who said that's for Far from the truth. CD, let's not start that. LOL, wow. Cheerleaders. Then somebody says, this is the one picture from the front desk. Do you see anything? Hannah Montana says, what am I supposed to be seeing? Well, it's a lot less blurry than the picture you're posting up. I can tell you that. She says, that's what I'm asking you to do to see if I, I, I anything. I blew up the picture. From the front desk computer. And she says, I'm sorry, but I don't see anything. What do you see? One, the one in the right top corner looks like a person. He deleted files. And then they say, it could be security. I see black sleeves, white and black shirt. But you cannot see the face clear. She said, did, then Hannah Montana is just worried about, but did you see the photo that I was talking about? Now here's a picture up close. Jackie Dragon, this is a screen, <coughs> excuse me, that I kept seeing post on the footage when I said that the old boy behind the desk was playing um, the slot machine the, on the internet. See? And then you pull the thing down and go, and these all start spinning around. I saw him playing that all night long. That's what that is. Just so y'all know. And then Hannah Montana says, so you mean you have to tell me you have to study this? Well, people don't see it. They don't see it. And then somebody says, well, Trey Gang just posted this. And she says, yeah, I know. I'm glad he did. And then somebody says, I, yeah, I seen you post this the other day. And everybody started attacking you. Kind of hard to make a fake picture like that. Nice work, lady. Bet. Bet. Then somebody says, I thought you of you when okay, this is a I read that part already. Let's see. Now here's a picture again. Y'all. Supposed to be Kanika with her ass out and Monifa watching. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be Monifa over here because it's all in black. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be Kanika, and I'm assuming her ass is supposed to be red, because that is red. Unless she's got a round brown ass with a big white spot in the middle. I don't know. Then she goes again, uh, post up the link, and then she says, uh, all these reactions, okay, I think I read this, I, I once 111 apologies for calling her a liar. All right, there we go, that's that. Now let's get to the video that I recorded, because I'm going to show you what it really is. 
All right, Hannah Montana, you're up. So on May the 5th of this year, you popped up and said, you feel so sick right now because you just saw a photo of Kanika laying on the bed with her ass out and Monifa standing right there looking at the whole thing. Oh, Teresa sues y'all. This come from the comment section from a post that she made where she's showing straight games screenshot of what he says is what she describes there with about Kanika. And she's saying 111 people owe her an apology for calling her a liar. So that tells me now, mind you, I did this part first, so I didn't really realize she was the one that came up with the picture, not Mr. Play Games. She wanted the money for her new product line, I guess. And you're the one that came up with the damn screenshot. So, let me hook you up with something. This is supposed to be the screenshot. Okay. I don't see no ass. I know what I do see though. But let me hook you up. And remind y'all. Might be the only time. I ever say. Listen to this one. In my life. Ever. Turn it, turn it on. You're going to tell it, got to tell it all. Tell it all. And this right here, I call Who is the real Trey Gang? Shout out to Chloe, Oliveira. Although me and her do not always see eye to eye. Ever. Although me and her, you know, have been at odds. Probably since the time I started. Um, I've never once said anything negative. Bullshit, bullshit. bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So I oh, hope she don't mind me using a screenshot that somebody sent me. Bullshit. Of Trey Gang, but this right here, down here at the bottom, is something that she caught. Her work. The only reason why I've cropped or we have Chloe's name on the side is because I had to use it to build this little collage. Bullshit. This right here is something that Chloe caught, and if y'all can remember, it was one time that Trey was on live and he was showing himself. And everybody on his mom was trying to tell him, like, bro, you I'm still saying bullshit because when I did my live, every single frame I used had my watermark apart across it. That's not from my live. That's from the one that I gave it to. Sure yourself. Right? Bullshit. bullshit. He must don't know what the YouTube streets is about. Because once slip up in these YouTube streets, <laughs> baby... You have people like Chloe going to be on top of it. Straight like that. Straight like that. Right on it. Like Y'all act like I don't do my research. Damn skippy. I know exactly this frame. As blurry as you made it, I still recognize it. Damn skippy. Still. And this right here, got this partner. don't prove <laughs> to your people that you and your number one cheerleader is all about the Benjamins, then they deserve to get took for all the money they give you. All the money they give you. All of it. Like I said, I've researched for hours. As Irene said, for hours. I've done did this for months, weeks, days, years. I knew off the bat. Where's that picture again? I knew off the bat. That's her button. That's her patch. That's Bree Bree. This is Monifa. 
You want me to prove it? I did this for hours already in the past. The button, the patch, Bree Bree, Monifa. For hours, I've done this. Only thing difference, you took yours and darkened it up with the colors and whatnot. I knew off the, off the bang, I knew exactly what it was. You ain't going to get one over on me. No way, no how. I've been at this too damn long. For hours, dummy. Same frame. But go on, keep passing your collection plate. God's got a special place for people like y'all. That's Jim Baker. I I'm still sitting here just like stupefied thinking like, did he really try to pass this off? Can't did he really? I mean, all he did was just blur it up some more. Y'all want to watch me? I can do it too. Let me see. Hold on. Let me put you on pause here. I bet I can do it. I ain't got much experience in editing, but I bet I can still make it close. What y'all think? Like I said, I, I ain't no editor. Of course, Stray Gang, he, he got, well, what's his name? Straight Games. He is a professional editor by trait. That's but I think I'm pretty darn close. I still can't believe y'all tried to pull that. And this is my copy here because you see this little dot thing? That's what pops up when I put this put this uh, screen recorder on on a uh, pause. And while I had y'all on pause when I did this, what did I start out with? Right there. Just you can see what I did as I did it. I got that down. Look, even the little thing sticking up right here. Look. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. That's what I got to say. 